Hey guys, I'm just going to run through how to set up GTFO settings. I'll try not to be too twitchy, but just so you know, the start of the the boot up sequence is going to be incredibly twitchy and nauseating. It's not until you get into the full game that it stops being quite so bad. Right, so first off, uh, Oculus Quest in Virtual Desktop, launch Steam VR. While that's launching, double click GTFO and it should load up. If you want to be safe, wait for this screen to completely load and then GTFO from your computer, just to make sure that it has launched SteamVR first. You want that to happen. Okay, now from this screen, you just gotta wait for it to slowly boot up and you'll get this 2D black screen. Now it is gonna be twitchy. Tracking is gonna be losing, it's, it's, it's quite bad. Try not to move too much. You don't get too I usually sit down for this bit and I don't stand until I'm in game. Hey, once you're in, you're gonna want to go up to your settings. Very first thing, you want to disable crouch toggle. That's going to mess you up with the VR controls at some point. So disable crouch toggle and display 1920 by 1080. You might be able to get away with more guys, but this is just the, the bare minimum of what I have running on my pretty basic laptop. Better laptop you have or better gaming PC, you're going to be able to do a lot more, but this is where I start with. So these are all my settings. I'm going to go through them. We've got graphics, texture quality, it's really not needed guys, it still comes out pretty beautiful and for a VR title, you're not going to notice. Okay, now down to our settings. I'm just going to scroll through each of these. So you want to have that enabled, just really helps the vision of it, I guess. Trying to grab this menu is possibly the most fiddly part of everything. Ugh. There it goes. Okay. Scrolling down. Scrolling down. And scrolling down. And so those are all the settings I run and I love how the game feels. But to make sure it runs even better, I'm gonna go into your things. Choose another. And then you're gonna wanna find this one. Bot bindings, saxophonist for Oculus Quest. It is just for Oculus Touch. It's upset up there, but the wording hasn't translated. Okay. Now let's give you a quick demo of what that looks like. Oh, and for noobs starting out, you definitely want to have at least one bot. I usually choose the last bot because these first two will be replaced by people if they join. Uh, I want to have one bot with the bio tracker because they are gods with that thing and it will make your life so much easier. screen there is no six degrees of freedom you are basically watching a video but you can turn left and right but don't try and lean forward or it's going to throw you off you're going to feel a little sick
Skywalker. Scanners got something. 